So this is a bouquet that I made from my backyard. If you have any trees, go chop down a couple of branches. I've had this about a month and the needles are starting to fall as of today. So we're going to get rid of this and go chop us down a new one. <laughs> and these are just decorations left over from past uh, bouquets that were sent to me. I know the Christmas season is over, but it looks so pretty next to the green. And here is a quick tour of our garden for the winter. These are the orchids. Oh, hi Barbie, thank you. Always want to be in the shot. I love you too. Aw, kisses. Aw, I love you. Okay, so we're gonna end up having to cut these down a little bit. I know, this is like your favorite. And these are these stack on ferns that I got for, I think these were like $2.99 at Jewel. They don't require any dirt. You can put them on a board and hang them on the wall. They go like crazy. So we have three of them. They're not dying, but what happens is, is it starts to form like a little capsule. And all well, this part right here is starts to form like a little capsule and it will encapsulate um, most of the plant. So here are the others. Actually these are doing quite well except for this one. And these are our herb plants that we're going to cut and they're pretty much dried out already. There's our winter cactus. And uh, here's our other plants. Oh, Mr. Coconut Tree is not going to make it. I don't know what happened. So these are doing pretty good down here. Our Sago Palm. I don't know what's going on with him. And there you have it. go outside and grab our winter bouquet and it's uh gosh you guys it's still snowing but there is our destination <laughs> The snow is really, really wet. Okay, so we're gonna chop this off because actually it's hanging over the sidewalk. So I purposely waited until this moment to prune these because I knew we needed a bouquet. So look, we still have a lot to choose from. <laughs> We have a lot of branches that need to be cut off. So we're just going to go ahead and, and cut this one. And even though this is yellow right here, the needles are still on. Because if you can pull the needles off the branch, I mean, just don't even bother cutting it because you're just going to make a mess. So for contrast, we're going to... This one here too. Oh my goodness. Here we go. It's a winter wonderland. And since we're out here, let's uh, check on the plants and how our overwintering is going. So this is like the ground cover. Actually, it's doing pretty well. And these were our hanging baskets. They're still alive. Here is our pond plant. I don't know if the water lettuce is going to make it. And here are the hibiscus. So I was told that they'll still be 
they should still be alive, I'm not sure. So we just gave them a little bit of water. And uh, I'll let you know how this turns out. So uh, we're going to shovel a little bit and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll carry on. And here we go, all the way across the driveway and over to our neighbors. <laughs> and then right through here, probably munching on these, uh, another little snack over here. Yep, they were all over last night, you guys. And it looks like we had some little uh, raccoons over here, too. So I just got done shoveling the driveway. And uh, look, we have some little tracks here. We had a visitor last night. So he made his way all the way over here, and uh, he's very proper. He uses the, the walkway. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so we're going to get more snow, another four inches. Hooray! So we have some flowers left over from our old bouquets, we have some vases filled, and we have our pruners, and uh, so let's get started. So we're going to mosey on over here to our orchids. Oh, are you going to help Barbie? Seriously? <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to just chop a few um, for our bouquets. Um, excuse me, you're not in the jungle. Please, don't eat them. For our larger bouquet, we're simply going to put our little decorations in. And I'll finish that. Here's our first one. And again, when the flowers um, die, you can always keep the green. We do the same thing in the summer. Um, I always buy the carnations because they last a couple of weeks. But one tip is change the water every day. Leftover from a bouquet. Just a little pop of color. This is left over as well. This one right here is just all green. We just put a little decor. I decided only to cut one of the orchids because they might rebloom, so uh, we just did one. <laughs> and just a little greenery. You can see that. And then we have the one over here. It's just all green. Hopefully, the kids don't get in there and think it's their water. If they do, we'll have to switch out the pots. <laughs> so, and this of course was our original, and again, I know it's not Christmas, but it adds a nice pop of color. I really like it, and as uh, I pointed out earlier, the different green, the chartreuse, and then the dark green looks really good. And uh, everybody else that lives in a different country, and if you have summer the whole time, you can do this as well. Just a simple tree branch, and we'll do that again in the summer, and I'll show you how. And here's all of them. And last but not least, here is our, oh, Barb, Barbie, oh, oh my god, okay, thank you, thank you, I can pick it myself, thank you, ow, 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 oh my gosh, okay, so here is our last red pepper, so cute, you are a little, you're a monster. Are you my little baby monster? Barbie, no, honey, no. Oh, 
Okay, come on, honey. We need to get down. Okay, come on. It's not your personal jungle, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Ow. Ow. Remember who feeds you now. Remember who feeds you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>